Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Hot Projects where we take a look at some of the biggest games on the blockchain right now. Today we're going to be taking a look at some gameplay, some updates on games we played before, and also some new games to talk about as well. So let's not waste no time, let's get into today's episode. Okay, so first up we have Fitburn. This is the world's first burn to earn application that is based on AI technology, which enables you to improve your lifestyle and your health and earn money from it at the same time. So with this, you'll be able to play sports with an NFT t-shirt, track your progress, rent NFTs and increase your reward by up to 50% with Cal tokens. And they are launching their token upon multiple different exchanges and launch pads. The token will be launching across three big exchanges. So the token will be listing on PancakeSwap, the biggest decentralized exchange out there. We have Gate.io, one of the top 10 exchanges by liquidity and trading volume, and MEXC Global as well. Coming out of the gates really big with some big exchanges. Also there's BitGet as well that they'll be launching on. Now you do have an opportunity to pick up these tokens early with some of the launch pads. So we have Trustpad, Firestarter, GameStarter, Binstarter, and Spores. So this is a huge opportunity to be able to pick up Cal token at its lowest price and increase your earnings in the app. To keep up to date with how to participate in these and when they go live, I definitely recommend going following the socials. I'll put the links to these in the description below. Go to the Twitter, follow them, turn on your notification bells, stay notified, and obviously things like Discord, Instagram, Medium page, and Telegram groups are all available on there as well. So the announcements group in Discord is really helpful to be able to keep up to date with the project as it progresses. And the project has top partners out there in the fitness world so the fibo show which is a huge fitness show mr olympia olymp and it's also supported by some really big projects like sculpt digital 51 salad swiss Borg, certic pancake swap and others and what's great is these guys already have an app ready for you to be able to play on android and ios the link to be able to download the application on both android or ios is in the description below for you to be able to check out you can join in on the public beta and earn some cal tokens straight away so and as you can see the fitness application is compatible with multiple different fitness devices so if we click close we can sign up and sign in the project's exclusive fitness related nfts can be traded rented or used to earn rewards within the fitburn ecosystem these include things like gym membership earning rewards by burning calories or you can access VIP events and increase calorie cash back. So if you're somebody already exercising loads, you might as well be earning calorie tokens whilst you're doing it. Once you're in, you can connect your device to your application and track your pulse then via that. You will then be able to start your workout and earn calorie tokens through doing it. So every earn a token is for every burned calorie. As you can see, that'll go up and then you'll be able to use those tokens in shop to purchase things. So if we take a look at the app, we can see that we have our rare NFT level one there. We have 30 minutes training time, which you can boost temporarily for 24 hours or permanent boosts you can add there as well. You've got earnings, which you can boost as well. You have your efficiency of your NFT, which you can wash it to get it back up to 100%. Then it's about burning, so for every calorie burned, you'll earn tokens. Those can be found in your wallet, so how many calorie tokens you've actually earned and also how many you've spent as well. And this is only the beta, so there's more to come and you'll be able to use those tokens in the shop for rewards. So that's Fitburn, check it out using the links in the description below. Go download the app, follow the socials, make sure to pick up the Cal token as early as possible on either the launch pads or central exchanges. Okay, so next up we have Planet Mojo, which we've covered I think once before, um, but they have their beta live and ready to be able to check out. Links will be in the description below if you want to take a look at it. But we have sent to the wild by our clan elders, we must scout the land for a new enemy. Alliances have been formed, we protect ourselves, our friends, the Mojos. This is Mojo Melee. This is our world. A tutorial. I liked this game because I thought, in terms of design, it looks really cool. It had a unique kind of feel to it. So. Round one, game starts in five seconds. I mean, you can reduce that to three. It's unnecessary. Right. Like our story battles, always begin with a mojo. Their connection to the planet gives our te teams added power and aura. Okay, so here's a little mojo. And then we drag units into the arena. Now let me project the mojo as the ancients instructed. Drag me to your, from your reserves to your arena. So we're going for a very similar feel to... Um, Alluvium really here you and also cyber titans. I think it is it has a similar format You'll gain 10 gold at the start of each round dragging units onto the board will cost you gold Yeah, so it's kind of about picking type advantages against the enemy that you've got in front of you Battle and then the battle will commence 
Let's have a look how their gameplay looks. Okay, did he start with like no health, but then it built up? This rhino is gonna get murdered. Oh, whoa, whoa, he, he is pretty heavy there. Oh, guy gets knocked out. I mean, I think these guys will just fight it out and I should win this. We don't have any two two times speed up at the moment. Strafe. Oh, camera control. Oh, that's just camera controls. So, so I thought maybe you'd be able to control the units. There we go. So I guess wins. And it continued whilst I was looking at the settings, which is good. And then we have a little sneak peek into what we've got. So well played already. Rest not. The battle only grows more intense. Power up any unit by buying it again from the reserves and dragging it onto the battlefield. Okay, so, alright, that powers him up. Summon other clan champions. Choose our ally Frodo. Her healing abilities will be helpful in battle ahead. Abilities are triggers when units hit max energy. Let's take Frodo. Frodo Baggins. So, yeah, very similar to Alluvium. I don't feel like it's offering anything massively different. And Alluvium, because they've obviously had years in crypto and work time to work on their project to really develop something of high quality i think it has a it has a feel of it's a lot higher quality uh, but you know there are rooms for games of the same genre same type i just think these auto battlers aren't really like attractive enough aren't unique enough apart from element in battle emerges spell stones okay so this this Adds a little difference to it. Drag the meteorite to where we think enemies might be. Ghost units show where they are at the start of last round. Choose wisely. So if we put a meteorite there. Drag and drop the next spellstone over me. Attachment spellstones grant magical benefits. Okay, so we can have flower. Spellstones can be powered up as well. So if you use two on somebody. So we're hoping somebody's there. Yep, 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 we've got them. Spellstones are cast at the start of the match. So, boom. Yes, we knock a big chunk of the health off straight from the beginning. So, yeah, adding little features in like that, I think, will make it stand out against Alluvium. Oh, this guy's gonna, getting hit. Oh, nice little heal there. I don't know why he started running away. And that's three trophies. That's the victory right or a strong but when in the first three battles you won your first duel okay so it's not like an endless battler like alluvium so it does offer something different continue to create your account and claim your rewards okay so with this then you can sign up and you'll actually get a reward i think you added to the white list okay so we now have a chance to collect unique mojos as you play flower mojo leaf mojo moss mojo or vine mojo i'm going flower mojo they're, they're, they're very pretty they have different abilities though. Ooh, healing itself, swamp trap, thorn armor. Mmm. Heal itself and all eyes within range. Now I'm going to relief like a healer. New leaf mojo. New champion, Bruca Hate Callhaven. And Frodo Swamp Hag. Meteorite. Sumatra Stronghorn. Dark Brightly. Flower Power. Okay, so we get rewards. And then we've got a nice little progression system. We've got dual ability to dual one on one with people. We've got battle pass, obviously coming soon. Um, we've got a free one though, so we can actually claim chests. So we get XP towards our characters. And more victory, and we'll get another chest. Going all the way up to 20 of these, whatever they are. Um, we've got a shop, so you can actually pick up some of these packs now. Start pack, currency pack, lightning. You can use some of the rewards that you get from those boxes to buy um, XP for some of your characters. You can buy different characters on Striker, but these are on special offers, so they will change. Two days, six hours left in them. Lightning Retribution. So we got a little free claim, free XP claim here, nice. So some of the wooden people who are joining actively uh, every day. Okay. 
it's got a, it's got a cool system in terms of like what you'd expect with the game on mobile um you know the gacha mechanics with the chests look like it would work all right we've got ability to upgrade but it does cost some of these okay yeah it looks cool it looks like it's it's a good start for it um in its beginnings and open beta so i thought it'd be one for you to be able to check out and to be able to get involved in straight away and um, play for free you know there's no investment needed for this and then you can decide whether you want to invest at a later date next up we have cypher cypher odyssey if you've seen this before you can you know that it's it's one that's definitely looks really high quality in terms of graphics and i've put out regular updates and the reason why i wanted to mention it is because if you go to the website you can uh, there is a play test coming soon so you can actually register for that it'll take you to a gleam i think competition type thing google forms that you answer all the questions just some specifics about yourself and your your gaming crypto experience and then you all uh, you'll be ready to be able to play when that play test comes along it does look very very good and high quality in terms of gameplay as well as just the graphics so it plays out as a multiplayer looter shooter arpg in a dreamlike world universe of alien worlds vibrant characters and dangerous mysteries where you can embark on a saga of a virtual universe created by godlike artificial intelligence where the future of humanity has been reborn and must fight to explore and protect their new home so i think in terms of the backstory for this as well it looks pretty cool they're gonna have comics they already have they already have comics for you to be able to read and check out which is really cool it's artwork style and that is really nice i just think this looks like a well-rounded project um so we've got the alpha release coming soon but they have the token already released so they have cypher token let's let's check how cypher is doing cypher queen gecko so gaming tokens haven't been doing great recently. We've obviously seen a massive increase in meme tokens. And meme tokens don't offer that much utility. So, you know, I think game tokens, if we do see a boom, could do much better than those tokens, given that they will have actual utility to the tokens that you can use later on. Uh, but yeah, we can see that the, the tokens on a steady down in the past month. If we look at the past year though, you know, we hit a bad patch in January of 2023, but then has it has increased in price slightly since then. Uh, obviously, a massive price dip from May of last year, um, and going all the way from one dollar twenty, one dollar five about at the top, um, all the way down to where it is at the moment. So yeah, huge drop in tokens, 96%. With tokens like this, you know, at one point, people invested a lot of money into holding these tokens. They just sold them and then we just reduced the value of them. So when the game's released, we could see that value return. Uh, but it's definitely one to watch. That is Cypher Odyssey. Check that out. Put that in the links in the description below as well. Next up, an announcement that I missed out on, on announcing in April um and on the 19th square enix partnered with elix games on web3 gaming platform so the the project that has created final fantasy uh is is teaming up with elixir so elixir platform if you don't know is one of the best places to be able to download uh games that function on the blockchain so we have obviously epic game store steam this is the web3 version of that and it's really good you know run smoothly there's plenty of games that you can go on there and play for free now so you can go check them out but this is just really kind of adds to um the direction in which i think crypto games are going web3 games are going to become more and more popular as time goes on i think and will become the new standard uh, and square enix partner up with that shows that they see potential in this as well and then finally um something that is launching on the elix platform we have the battle for geostone so they have their the trailer out for this and it looks pretty cool this is a moba so you can register now to be among the first to get access to their closed pre-alpha so if you're into mobas then this might be the game for you uh in terms of quality i don't think it's up where where it needs to be to really make it groundbreaking but it's always good to have new games in the blockchain space with different genres 
And so I suppose you could choose your hero's abilities, enter the battle and come out victorious. Glory waits at the end. And I saw this on a Elixir. Just because I think this is probably the best thing to follow if you want to keep up to date with games. So I saw Elixir Game Literature uh, tweet out this. So this is the the trailer which just isn't doesn't give a lot away into the, what the game is. Um, but it does give as an idea of the characters that will be in the game and the style of you know the design that they have already laid out so they, they've stated it's a different 5v5 MOBA experience where you can forge your hero and climb the ranks you can use the hero in battle and see if you've got the skills to emerge victorious so this trailer goes through the different races as you can see and there's, there's a nice variety of races it looks like that will fight in different ways this guy looks really be a tank, sorry to judge you, but probably gonna be a tank. And then we have this, which is it. They have like a different element to it, in that the, there'll be some bosses in it and things that you can fight whilst engaging in the 5v5. Who knows? But Battle for Geostone is, is one that I'm always looking out for the new games on the Elixir Game Launcher platform just to see what's coming in terms of high quality and i think this is just quite an it probably looks like like an interim game that, that i might play so again i'll put the links to this one in the description below even if you're not like massively going to be investing in it i always think it's good to keep up to date with these projects see how they're progressing and see how it looks when it actually comes out in comparison to trailers because you know sometimes they exceed the trailers sometimes they don't um but this does have a Genesis hero collection going on 700,000 heroes that receives 25% of the revenue made from the game forever. Also, daily BFG token rewards, legendary skins, increased token earning power, and cheaper forges. So, they do actually have a mint going on now that you can get involved in um, by a bundle 60 Genesis heroes for your bags. How do you mint the mint dates? Okay, the mint date isn't, isn't live so. Um, you can't mint just yet, but with all the details on the minting there for you to be able to check out. So let me know your thoughts on some of those. I always try to respond to the comments down in the comment section below. Apart from that, that is all for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like on the video. Hit subscribe if you can keep up to date with future content. That is all for me. See you guys soon.